What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. We've got brand new player of the week selections here for you. You've got Palmer, you've got Felix, you've got Maitland Niles. And of course, we have the rest of the boosters in here. You've got Kimmy, you've got Doku, who's a booster. You've also got this guy here, Shua Mene and Kimmy. As we said here, Gordon, Philippe Anderson. This is actually not a bad, uh, a bad selection at all for a player of the week. Usually the player of the weeks, there's like probably like one or two kind of players that are like mid to good. And then the rest are kind of a little bit, you know, in my opinion. Um, but this is actually not a bad pack. I mean, even Maitland Niles, very good utility player. You can see all the positions that he can play there, even though my face cam is covering half of those. You've got the booster there as well with him. Really nice acceleration and stamina. He's down as an attack and full back, but he can play pretty much everywhere uh, in the right side or the left side. If you give him a couple of playstyle proficiencies, although you can't because you can't give him the position proficiency. So I think these cards should definitely as player of the weeks. It's just something that I wanted to mention. You should be able to train up their positions or else they should have max utility uh, prowess in all positions, that they're able to play all positions. The rest of his stats aren't too bad. I've actually played with Niles quite a bit. Not this version of him, but different versions of him. Double touch is nice, way to pass, man mark and track back and interception. It's a fairly decent defense or attacking fullback. Now, obviously, he's not going to compete with any of the rest of the guys, even with a booster. I mean, if even if he had a booster for plus seven on most of these stats, it's not going to compete with the big boys. Uh, and that's the big pity. But you are going to be getting your manager boost as well in game, which can be up to three uh, for his main stats. But yeah, speed and acceleration is not bad. Stamina is quite good. And he's able to kind of dribble a little bit as well. But again, he's way off where the meta is, unfortunately. You also have these three boys down at the bottom here, I would say, that are very much not worth it. Again, you've got a 76 uh, aggress aggression and 72 stat line there for Andre Ramalho. Ramalho, he doesn't have a facing game as well, but he does have some blocker skills, interception skills, inter aerial superiority, acrobatic clearance and heading, and man marking and sliding tackle. So he actually has one touch pass and low lofted as well. Very nice skills, but yeah, the card itself is not going to be it, lads. Trust me on that as a build-up. You have, of course, the madman uh, Martinez in goals as well. Fairly okay, but doesn't reach any 90 stat apart from goalkeeper reach. And depending on what manager that you have, maybe parrying as well. But the rest of his stats are pretty average for a goalkeeper at this stage. I mean, there's only a couple of goalkeepers that I would really recommend. And that would probably be standard Donnarumma. And then any of the boosters, maybe standard Ablak and Courtois as well. They're very interchangeable. Um, but goalkeepers are really, really, you know, going to let stuff in anyway. Uh, and then we also have Srinikau there. This guy as well is fairly okay, but he's not going to be, you know, he's not going to be making most teams as a starter. But maybe as a sub, super sub and track back is quite nice. Good speed, good tight possession, good dribbling, but bad balance. And that's how they balance a lot of these cards. So that is a bit of a shame as well that he doesn't have better stats, but he doesn't have a booster. Just to complete the bottom line here, right, we have Jao Felix, who's been actually playing quite well for Barca uh, lately. They, of course, crashed out of Europe against PSG. I mean, what a night of football we had last night, lads. I watched a little bit of the penalties because I was playing footy myself, but... Yeah, I mean, Madrid are just, they just know how to win, man. They just know how to win. Brilliant dribbling, balance, acceleration. It's definitely not one of the best Felix cards that they have released. But if you have never played with Felix before, he definitely is good. I would say that a couple of free cards that have come out, the nominating contract ones and that, have been way better because you can train him up. But this isn't a bad entry-level card for him. It's the same with Shua Mini, even though Shua Mini is down as a 95 DMF. There's a lot of bloated kind of fake stats in this because his low pass is really high, his ball control and kicking power is really high. And I feel like that his speed and acceleration for a destroyer are just way off where they need to be. Now, he does have some nice player skills, but he doesn't have blocker. He doesn't have man marking. He does have slide tackle, but he doesn't have track back. There's a lot to not like about this card, unfortunately. Now, he can play as a CB into a DMF, so that's always nice if you're using sub tactic. But yeah, for me, it's a thumbs down on this card straight away. And then we also have, as we mentioned, Maitland Niles and Felipe Anderson. Felipe Anderson is quite decent, but I, I just can't recommend any attack midfielders at the moment apart from Pedri. Um, you know, Pedri is probably the best in the business. A few of the boys in the Discord, I know El Presidente Lucas is always talking about Pedri, and he's right. Pedri is a demon at the moment. But any of those cards that have got like 90 plus in ball control, tight possession and balance are going to be demons in the game with the way the dribbling is. Um, so any of these cards that don't reach that for attacking midfielders are not going to be it. So I would say that, yeah, I wouldn't spin for Anderson. I also wouldn't spin for Gordon. Obviously, you're taking a gamble if you do. If you do get these guys, you don't need to train them up. You can just have players on A form. 
Oh, Gordon has got to actually a face as well. Um, track back on him, true pass and one touch pass. Yeah, not a really great card either. Look at the balance, lads. That balance is going to be a killer once you come up against the big players, like the epic players and stuff. So on to kind of the three main guys, right? You've got Doku or Doku. I call him Count Dooku from Star Wars. This guy is a beast. I actually really like this card. He kind of reminds me of Eze. Um, and you're also going to be getting the manager boost, of course, with his boost here. So he's actually straight off the rip. Got 92 dribbling, 95 speed, 90 balance, and 94 acceleration. The tie possession is nearly at 90, and he's down as a whole player. Now, he can't play as an AMF. He is going to be playing as kind of like that Nakunku-style player on the wing. That's where I would play him. I think Nakunku is a demon in the game as well. But he has got ball carrying plus 3, which is nice. Double touch, flip flap, and soul control, which is, of course, going to give you the special double touch or the ball roll. Fantastic. Scissors feint is really underrated as well. It doesn't work all the time, but when it does, it can actually get you a goal. Chop turn, cut behind and turn. And, of course, you do have long range curl with the heel trick and gamesmanship as well. So you'll win more frees with gamesmanship. This is a very, very solid card. Is it worth spinning for? I mean, if you spun three and you get him for 300 coins, I definitely think it's worth it. If you are struggling to have kind of like an out wide player that can play left midfield or right midfield, a lot of the time now, if you are playing against top class players, you need to have two sub tactics or you need to have two tactics, uh, one main tactic and a sub tactic. And I have a video coming on that as well very, very soon. But it's a good card. Of course, Kimmy is always decent, lads. A lot of people love Kimmy. They swear by him. They think that he's an absolute demon. Um, I know my brother actually plays with Kimmy quite a lot and he absolutely loves him. Like he thinks he's a beast. Very good ball control, very good low pass. Of course, you've got the balanced stamina acceleration. And of course, all the defensive stats are very, very decent as well. Going to get a good boost with the manager as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, Kimmy, I think his best position is probably as a CMF, just to kind of control the play. Uh, because, you know, a lot of the time when you're in midfield, you just need to be able to get the ball through the lines. And then last but not least, we have the four goal hero Palmer. Absolutely insane record he's on at the moment. I mean, it's it's just ridiculous, man. When you look at his game, obviously, if you're not a Chelsea fan, when I look at Palmer and how he plays, like, in real life, there's nothing really explosive about him. You know, he's tall, he's strong, um, but he's not super strong. He's not super fast. Technically, he is he is really good, but you wouldn't think that he's as technically good as some of the, you know, other players in the Premier League. Um, but, I mean, man, his goal scoring is absolutely outrageous this year. You know, four the other day. Any man, any man that can score four goals in a Premier League match is ridiculous. I don't care if they're penalties or anything throughout the season. It's it's a ridiculous, uh, ridiculous achievement. And he's been just tearing it up for Chelsea. But, yeah, he's he's got a good card, right? It's a good card. He can play CMF. He can play uh, up forward. I would have liked him to play SS just because of where the game is at at the moment. But he's down as a whole player. He can play right wing, right mid, attacking, and CMF. It's a very good card. Now, I actually struggle with Palmer. Unless you shoot with him, he doesn't really play that good. You know, if you don't shoot with Palmer with that 86 finishing, he's not going to do it for you. You're better off with a more mobile, versatile AMF. But it's definitely a nice card. I definitely think that this is this is probably one of the better player of the weeks if you're starting off. Because you could get these three boys at the top and have a good corner stone to your team. And then, of course, you could have a good goalie as well. Felix and Chouamini are not bad either. But as ever, man, there's only probably about three players in here worth spinning for. So it's up to you. I would say play the two free events and see who you get with your free spins. But that is it for the player of the week. I will be back later on. Of course, we do have new legends coming. We're going to get into that in the live stream as well. Um, shout out to GD Facemaker on Twitter for putting that picture up. We have new legends, so people will probably wait for them. But for the player of the weeks, they kind of fit in as kind of an entry level beastly card version of the player so that you don't need to train. So that is where these player of the weeks come in. But until then, lads, I will talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe.